Hi guys, my name is Megan with the blog WilsonHomestead.com. This is my son Demi. He is going to be helping me with this video today. But today I wanted to share with you guys my hair care routine. I've had so many requests for this video. I actually haven't shampooed or conditioned my hair with Starbat anything for about three years, a little over three years. So I have been making my own homemade shampoo and conditioner since then and I have been so thrilled with the results and I just wanted to maybe inspire you guys to do the same and share with you guys my system so that you guys can see it's not very hard to do. But I'm just so excited to be away from the, all the toxins and bad stuff that is in store-bought shampoos and conditioners. There's just a lot of stuff in there that is bad for your hair, bad for your skin, and just definitely something that I don't want to have in my household. So let's get right into this video. So when I started out washing my hair with homemade, so I was using my homemade coconut oil bar soap. I was making these shampoo bars and I really did like it, but then since then I have switched to castile soap. I use diluted castile soap to wash my hair. Castile soap is strong enough to cleanse your hair and your scalp and any product buildup, but gentle enough to not leave the hair stripped and dry. So it's really a great alternative to conventional shampoo. So I really, really like the Dr. Bronner's brand of castile soap. This is the one that I like to use for the most part. I also buy a bulk castile soap from Amazon. <laughs> from Amazon that I'll also show you guys. So this one I get from Amazon and it is really, really affordable. It's a lot cheaper than the Dr. Bronner's castile soap. So I really like both of them, but if you're trying to do this to really save money, if you can't really afford store-bought shampoos, then I def definitely recommend the bulk option because that is a lot cheaper. So to make my shampoo, I actually use this little pitcher my friend Liz made this for me. She does her own homemade pottery, which is just the coolest. I actually pour this about a quarter full of castile soap, and then I fill it all the way, the rest of the way up with water. And this will last me for a few times. Then when I go in the shower to wash my hair, I'll just pour that over my head and use my other hand to kind of rub it into my hair. And then when I have enough in there that it feels like it's going to lather really nicely and get every area of my scalp lathered up, then I'll just put it down and use both hands to really scrub it in really well. So castle soap can really, really clean your hair really well, but it also can leave your hair feeling kind of like tangly and matted a little bit, which I have definitely found. So I find that it's really, really important to always use a conditioner after you use a homemade soap like this. And this is because the outside of your hair is actually made up of cuticles, layers and layers of cells that kind of layer over each other like roof shingles. So when you wash it with soap like this, it disturbs these, all these cuticles so it can kind of make your hair kind of feel like, like kind of matted, like where it can feel like kind of hard to comb through, like it's not smooth and silky like you want it to be. But using a really, really easy conditioning solution that I make out of apple cider vinegar, fixes this instantly. It tamps the, all these cuticles back down that have gotten disturbed from washing with soap and it just gives your hair this wonderful, silky smooth feeling. I use this little squirt bottle here that has a top that folds up and down and you can spray it in your hair really easily. So I'll generally fill it about like a third of the way up with raw apple cider vinegar that still has the mother and then I fill the rest of the way up with water. And then I'll also add in rosemary and lavender essential oil and that, these are both just really, really great for hair health. And this is the vinegar that I use. This is raw apple cider vinegar from Azure Standard. I will link where I get this down below. I will link all of the things that I get for my hair down below. If, if I get them somewhere online, I will definitely link it in the description box. So this is raw apple cider vinegar that still has the mother which I really like. And I buy that in bulk just because I use it for like everything. So I actually bought a five gallon bucket last time I ordered, so I'm good to go for a while. Apple cider vinegar is a very popular home remedy for things like dry scalp. It can balance out your scalp's pH levels. It also works as a really great detangler and revitalizes your hair. I notice this so much after I use this conditioner. It is so easy to comb through my hair. It is just an awesome detangler. So even if you just use this as like a detangler spray, you can mix a little bit of apple cider vinegar and water and spray it in your hair when you need to comb it out. And man, does that work so well. Apple cider vinegar softens and cleanses your hair without stripping it of its natural oils. And actually since I have switched to using a homemade shampoo and conditioner after my hair kind of adjusted to it, I only have to wash my hair once a week. But it's actually so much better for your hair if you can only wash it once a week because then it doesn't keep stripping it of those oils that it naturally has. And so people with really greasy hair might find that this really helps their hair kind of level out because if you just keep 
You keep stripping the oils out by washing it with the bad shampoos. The more you strip it out, the more your hair just produces and produces and produces grease because it's trying to keep up with how much is being stripped out. So if you can just put up with greasy hair for a little while, it will actually make your hair less greasy in general, which seems kind of counterproductive, but it actually really works. So now while it's generally true that you have to use a really acidic conditioner after you wash your hair with soap like this, it's not really true for everyone. So you really just have to see what works for you personally. Some people will be able to wash their hair with a, a shampoo bar or castile soap and not have to use any conditioner at all and their hair will feel just fine. Some people can actually use a castile soap and coconut milk mix and then that will work really well for their hair and they won't need to rinse with apple cider vinegar either. But you really just need to just play around with your recipe and see what works. I know that for a while I was using a recipe with castile soap and a little bit of olive oil or coconut oil and water and that did not work for, well for my hair at all. I was, I had such greasy hair even though I was using just like a teaspoon of olive oil. Like it wasn't very much, but for some people their hair really can't handle that. Conventional shampoos and conditioners, even ones that claim to be natural, botanical, etc., usually contain silicones and waxes that coat your hair and give it that smooth feeling. It's not actually cleaning your hair like you think it is. It's just coating it with something that makes it feel like it's actually clean when it's not. It's kind of like full of chemicals and nasty stuff. So we want this, we want to get our hair to do this naturally without needing to be coated with wax. So when you stop using these store-bought conventional shampoos and conditioners, it, it will very likely take your hair some time to adjust. It kind of goes through this phase where it is a little bit weird. <laughs> Most transitions usually last from like two to four weeks, but some can last months. Like it really just depends on your, on your hair and how much it's just gotten used to having conventional cleaners put in it. Initially your hair may feel like really greasy, it may feel like heavy. I know my hair, personally, it felt like it was greasy and sticky and dry at the same time. It was so weird. I don't even know how to explain it, but it was like a beast to comb through. But thankfully it only lasted about a month. But you just need to hold out for a few weeks and just hold out. It will be worth it, I promise. But you just gotta settle for having a weird hair for a little while. But I promise you, once you get to the end goal, you will be so glad that you went through that. So I will link the, the blog post down below where I talk about all this stuff. I will have all of these recipes actually written out so they're really easy to get to. I will put a couple printable recipe cards for the shampoo recipe and the conditioner recipe so you can really easily print them out and then have them just ready to go for whatever you need to make this. But I hope this video is helpful for you guys, and I will see you in the next one. Bye. Bye, Gimme.